capacity of soap. Soaps and detergents are commonly used cleansing agents in our daily life. They remove dirt and grease from the skin and the clothes. Chemically, they are water-soluble sodium or potassium salts of long-chain fatty acids with a long, non-polar hydrocarbon tail and a polar head. All soaps are not equally effective in their cleansing action. The cleaning capacity of soaps depends on their foaming capacity as well as the type of water used in cleaning. The soap with the maximum foaming capacity has the best cleaning capacity. Soap solution in distilled water produces the maximum amount of foam and has the maximum cleaning capacity. However, in hard water, the Ca and Mg ions in water react with soap to form the insoluble precipitate of Ca and Mg salt of soap. This salt makes the soap insufficient in its cleansing action. Our aim is to study the comparative cleaning capacity of a sample of soap in soft and hard water. Materials required Beakers Distilled water Well water 2 grams calcium chloride Glass rods Soap pieces Hot plate test tubes and test tube rack, measuring jars, measuring scale, cloth pieces, tile, dropper and ink. Procedure Take three beakers labelled A, B and C. Take 20 ml of distilled water in beaker A 20 ml of well water in beaker B and 20 ml of distilled water in beaker C. Add 2 grams of calcium chloride into beaker C containing distilled water. Stir the contents of beaker with a glass rod until calcium chloride dissolves completely. Take a soap piece of weight 1 gram and add it to beaker A. Stir the contents of beaker A using a glass rod to ensure that soap has dissolved. In case the soap does not dissolve completely, place the beaker on a hot plate and heat it, constantly stirring until the soap dissolves. Repeat the above steps for the other two beakers. In beakers A and B, soap is dissolved completely. But in beaker C, we can see that scum or precipitate is formed. This is because in beaker C, the calcium ions, that is Ca2 plus ions, present in the dissolved calcium chloride, react with soap to form calcium salt of soap, which is insoluble in water and appears as scum. 2RCOONA plus CaCl2 gives RCOO2Ca plus 2NaCl. Place three test tubes labelled as A, B and C in a test tube rack. Take a measuring jar and pour soap solution from beaker A into the measuring jar and measure 10 ml of soap solution. Pour it into test tube A. Similarly, pour 10 ml of soap solution from beaker B into test tube B and from beaker C into test tube C using separate measuring jars. Measure the initial length of soap solution in each test tube using a measuring scale. Hold test tube A by hand, closing its mouth with the thumb. Shake it thoroughly 10 times upwards and downwards. You will notice that lather or foam has formed in the test tube. Measure the length of the foam and the final length of the soap solution using the measuring scale. Similarly, Take the other two test tubes and repeat the same steps and measure the length of the foam and the final length of the soap solution. Soap solution in test tube A produces the maximum length of lather. The solution in test tube B produces a smaller length of lather and the solution in test tube C produces the minimum length of lather. 
take three cloth pieces and place them on the tile. Using a dropper, remove a few drops of ink from the ink bottle. Pour a drop of ink in the center of each cloth piece and allow it to dry. Take the cloth pieces from the tile. Place one piece of cloth with ink spot in the remaining soap solution in beaker A, another piece of cloth in beaker B and the third piece of cloth in beaker C. Leave the three beakers undisturbed for about 10 minutes. Remove the piece of cloth from beaker A and wrap the cloth piece. Take the other two cloth pieces from beakers B and C and repeat the same step. The ink spot on the cloth dipped in soap solution A has almost disappeared. The ink spot on the soap cloth dipped in soap solution B has partially disappeared. There is no change in the color of the ink spot on the piece of cloth dipped in soap solution C. Rather, some scum has been deposited on the surface of the cloth piece. Soap solution with distilled water, that is soft water, has the most cleansing capability. Soap solution with well water, that is hard water, has less cleansing capability than soft water. Soap solution with distilled water, with calcium chloride dissolved in it, is very hard water and has the least cleansing capability. Precautions Use the same sample and the same weight of soap from beakers A, B and C. While stirring the soap solution, do not spill any solution from the beaker. Carefully measure the same quantity of soap solutions from beakers A, B and C to put it into the experimental test tubes A, B and C. Shake test tubes A, B and C equal number of times and in the same way without spilling any soap solution. Immediately measure the length of foam produced. The quantity of ink put on each piece of cloth should be equal.